Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I've noticed that I've had a hard time committing to big projects in Minecraft. This is often most evident by the random buildings that have scattered around the world of Azerin. One such structure is this palace I've been working on for a while and haven't felt super satisfied with. So in this video, I'll be ignoring the palace so I can work on the city of Griffengard. Alright, here's some lore tidbits for this build. After the defeat of Vishan, the god of undeath, there was a millennium of relative peace among the people of Azarin. However, the elves and humans built feuding empires and war broke out between them. Eventually, the Empire of Man stood triumphant. At this point, humanity turned their ire within, the noble houses fought each other, and the Emperor fled to the eastern regions of the world. With the Empire gone, Griffengard became a highly contested city, with many nobles conspiring to take the crown. I start off by making the wall segments for the city. I initially wanted this brick pattern on the wall, but decided against it because I wanted angled walls and I didn't think it would work well with those. Here I make the base wall segment. I make two layers of walkways with the side supports housing stairs to connect them. I then make a sloped wall segment as well as two angled wall segments. Now I start the tower design. This tower will act as the joint between different wall segments. In retrospect, I made the base of the tower a little too big, and the supports were probably a bit excessive. After making the wall segments in the tower, I go in and make a bunch of different combinations of them, so that I can place them modularly and create the main city wall. Once I finish making those pieces, I move on to creating the perimeter of the wall. The wall has four gate areas, one to the north end, one on the east, one leading to the docks, and one on the south towards the palace. Here I make a very rough base for the dock area. I decided not to focus on the docks too much this time around, but I will get to that later. Now I lay down some streets for the inside of the city. The big circle is for the trading area, as I imagine the people who live in the inner district of the city are the merchant and aristocratic types. After I finish with the streets, I quickly texture them with a noise pattern. Now I work on making some house assets. I wanted to capture that feeling of affluence I described earlier without making them too big. I settle on this vaguely Tudorish design that I think does the job. I start with six house designs and make two more later. Now what medieval fantasy city is complete without an inn and tavern? For this building, I carry over the aesthetic theme from the houses and expand it, making a tavern area as well as rooms for guests. Here I start carefully placing those house assets I just made, making sure they leave enough space not to clip each other. I decided to make a big manor house to be occupied by some duke or lord. I started with brick walls, but made the top layer match up more with the other houses because I didn't want it to look out of place in the city. Here I make those two additional houses that I mentioned earlier.
Now I'm just tidying things up and adding more houses. I also switched the dirt surface to grass. Now it's time to make some assets for the market square. I make a variety of stands, carts, and barrels to liven up the area. The last feature I work on for today's video is the cemetery. I make this mausoleum to house the coffins of especially important nobles. And after adding in the last few houses, part 1 of Griffin Guard is complete. Be sure to stay tuned for part 2 where I'll be working on the farming and harbor districts. One more note for this video is that I've been considering launching a Patreon so that you can download my builds. However, I would like to build my following a little bit more before I can launch it. I know my content schedule hasn't been very consistent, and I really appreciate all my viewers and subscribers who have stuck with me throughout this time. It means a lot.